Hello guys and welcome back. This was our last point on the last lesson. Well, so this is the interface we're going to be working with. Down here is where you're going to be able to see your output and all of that stuff. Let's suppose you don't have this. You can hit run. And what it doesn't show so simple you come here you check on this terminal and it's done for you right you have terminal you can use this to write some terminal code problems when you have a problem with your code you can come here output I don't really know what did they, they put the output by the the actually output comes here and the, the debug console but okay so this is a this is what you're going to be working with so you better get acquainted with this now uh, let us understand what is happening here let me delete all of this and we'll write one thing by one the first thing you write is void And void basically means nothing. It's strange, right? But yeah, it means nothing. It means the function you're going to write is going to return nothing. And now you may ask yourself then, what is a function? Function is a group of code or a set of code which has a specific task for every time it is called. Still difficult right okay let's try to make this easy here you have that structure we had and we have this cute police officer let's consider this police officer as a function and let's suppose the name of the function is police officer so what's the point every time I call the police officer his task is to provide me aid so if the police officer is a function, every time he's called as a function, he's supposed to go and do something. And that thing is providing aid. If the police officer here was a function, it would be a function like this. First, we have void means the police officer will return nothing. If you're new to programming this concept, I guess it's difficult to understand for now, but don't worry. Just remember to start by writing void. For now, it's all you're going to dip to dig deeper into functions, and you're going to understand all of this. But for now, you'll start. You'll start with void. Then after void, you have the name of the function. Here you have police of police. Police is the name of the function, and this parenthesis. This is what shows that this is a function that we are dealing with the function. So you have to write the name of the function, then parenthesis to show that we are working with the function. Now we have open curl brace and we close the curl brace. Inside the curl braces is where we have the code which the function is supposed to run every time it is called. So if you, we were to write a code for this police officer, it would be something like this. Void police officer. And inside the curly braces, everything the police officer does is inside of here. You see, provide aid. If he was a cook, for example, inside of here, we will have uh, cooked meals and stuff. So the, po the police officer doesn't have cooked meals here because his function is not to cook meals, but to provide aid. So this is the basic 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 simple concept you have to learn now because you're going to use this a lot okay now going back to our first function we have void then we have sorry we have to give space main you open and close parentheses to show that we are dealing with the function and you do this 
we have the body of the function. Okay, main is a function. So what's the task of the main? The main function is the main function of the code. It means every time the computer encounters the main function, the execution of the program will start. So the task of the main function would be to start the program. And you cannot have two or three main functions. You only have one main function for every single application you're going to write using Dart. So you have void, main, start the program. And inside of the body, what do you want to do? You want to print something here to the console. So you'll write print. Print is a function also. What's the task of the print? The task is to print something. What are you going to print? Don't make a mistake. If you want to print something, you have to write it inside of the print, inside of the parentheses of the print, and you have to open quotation marks. And inside the quotation marks is where you write what you want to print. Let's write dart lover. And we still have a problem. You can come here, you check on problems. Ex ex expected to find semicolon. That's because for every code, every line of code, you're supposed to finish it with a semicolon. If you're dealing with a line of code like this, not in the function, you're not supposed to write it here and here, but here inside of this line of code to show the computer to tell that, okay, my code is over here, you write the semicolon, right? And now you can go again and run this. You click, you go back to the debug console and you have Dart Lover has the output. I really, really, really hope you did understand this concept because you're going to use this a lot, every time, every day. So this video was a little bit longer, but thank you for being here and I see you on the next one.